Cozumel is an island in the Caribbean Sea off the eastern coast of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, opposite Playa del Carmen and close to the Yucatan Channel. Cozumel is located on the northern edge of the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef. This largest of Mexico's islands located in the Caribbean has grown into a leading dive and vacation destination. The history and facts of how this once deserted island came back to life and is now home to over 90,000 permanent residents and the mass of tourists that visit the island every year is interesting. During his exile in 1869, Mexican General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana, the Mexican general who defeated the Texicans at the Alamo, convinced Thomas Adams of New York to develop the product utilizing chicle, a gum of the sopadilla tree, found in Yucatan. Adams added flavoring to chicle and came up with a chicle-based chewing gum. The product immediately caught on with the American consumer. In 1891, 29-year-old William Wrigley opened a business selling baking soda and began giving free chewing gum to his clients reorders. Wrigley soon began to manufacture his own gum and sourced his chicle directly from the Yucatan. In 1893, Wrigley introduced Juicy Fruit Gum and a few months later, Wrigley Spearmint. These two gums became widely popular in the United States. By the 1920s, Cozumel had become an important port in the chicle trade and needed a hotel to house visiting American buyers and Mexican government officials. By 1936, three hotels were built on the island. When the natural chicle was replaced by a synthetic base during World War II, the chicle trade crashed and Cozumel's economy was in a shambles and hard times were had by all. During the war years, an agreement was initially negotiated for the United States to fund the construction of an air base on Cozumel that was not completed for a variety of reasons. The new and extended dirt runways were, however, one of the necessary building blocks for the island's tourism infrastructure. In February of 1948, a nautical mishap occurred which indirectly led to the huge rush of American tourists racing to visit Cozumel. The freighter Narwhal became grounded on the island. The boat's owner, Charles Fair, flew down from New York landing at an airstrip, upgraded during World War II to oversee the salvage operation. Mr. Fair was so impressed by the island upon his return to New York in 1948, he told his writer friend, John R. Humphreys, about the island. Humphreys traveled to Cozumel, paying 60 cents a day for his hotel room. He wrote an article on the island that was published by Holiday Magazine in the August 1955 issue. Entitled Cozumel, A New Island Paradise, and The Expensive Tropical Eden. The island's population was only about 2,300 at the time, and the streets were unpaved. A traveler could get three meals a day for 72 cents. The article struck a chord with the American public. The description of the nearby tropical island where steak was 20 cents a pound, a five bedroom house could be rented for $30 a month, and cooks were hired for $5 a day caused a large influx of vacationers that caught the island by surprise. In 1956, the Mexican movie director, Rene Cardona, made the film Un Mundo Nuevo, which was shot in Cozumel's water by cinematographer Lamar Bowden, who would later become the cameraman for the movie Flipper and the Sea Hunt television series starring Lloyd Bridges. Un Mundo Nuevo was translated into English and shown on American television in 1957 as The New World. The interest of American scuba divers was perked by the television broadcast. As a tribute to the movie director, a reef off Cozumel was named in his honor, Cardona Reef. In 1957, the American scuba diver Robert Marks, along with Mel Fisher, showed up to film an underwater promo film for Pan American Airlines. Bob began a tour guide dive business. Travel Magazine, in both January and February of 1958, noted that Tamza Airline was flying a DC-9 to the island from Merida for 1751 way. A Vision Magazine article in 1958, titled Cozumel se Acapulciza, or Cozumel is becoming an Acapulco, discussed that North American tourists have been coming to Cozumel for a few years. A 1959 Esquire magazine article wrote that he was charging $8 per day for his services, boat, and equipment. The business grew and Bob took on several Cozumelinos as interns and trained them to take care of the tourists. In 1960, El Clavado Dive Shop and Aqua Safari opened and the boom of Cozumel scuba diving was launched and never looked back. 
In the May 1959 issue of Holiday Magazine, John Humphreys, who started the tourist rush with his original article published in 1955, took note that huge differences had occurred on the island since his first article was published four years earlier. Humphreys wrote the island was on the verge of being overrun by Americans who were in search of a Caribbean paradise. The frequency of flights from Merida to Cozumel had risen from four to nine a week, and they were all fully booked. Rooms had risen from 60 cents a day to four dollars a day. Millionaires, wrote Humphreys, accompanied by lawyers and construction engineers, arrived and departed, leaving in their wake visions of modern hotels, nightclubs, yacht basins, and swarms of cruise ship visitors. Cozumel would never be the same. In 1960, Clay Blair published his book, Diving Pleasure and Treasure in the United States, and it was republished in 1961 in Great Britain. The book discussed the salvage of the wreck El Matancero, a Spanish merchant vessel that ran aground on the coral reef near Acamal in 1741. After the fall of Cuban strongman Fulgencio Batista's government to Fidel Castro's communist rebels in 1959, Castro nationalized the American-owned hotels and casinos on Cuba. Americans began looking for other Caribbean destinations to visit for vacation. Cozumel was one of the beneficiaries of this turn of events. The floodgates were now open and Americans were visiting the island in droves. By 1961, Cozumel was appearing in Life magazine as an unspoiled vacation spot. Hotel construction took off with a dozen new lodgings opening prior to 1970 and the new vacation destination of Cozumel took its rightful place in the world.